To date, we'll install CockroachDB Cloud with Terraform. First, we'll need a service account in CockroachDB Cloud. So if you head to cockroachlabs.cloud and then access management, service accounts, and then create a service account. We'll use this to give Terraform access to our cloud environment. I'll give it admin because it will give create, delete, edit, and read access. And then let's create a key name. That's generated a key for us. So I'll copy that to clipboard. Coming over to VS Code, I'll paste that in to an M file and I'll export it as Cockroach API key. The Cockroach DB Terraform provider will use this key to interact with our cluster. So let's look at our code. Here we bring in the Cockroach Terraform provider and here I create a serverless Cockroach DB cluster in GCP called Rob CRDB Terraform. And that's in the Europe West One region. For each of the users that we pass in through the variables, which is just a list of users populated with Alice and Bob, I generate a random password of 50 characters in length. I'm not going to use special characters for this example, but typically you probably would want to use special characters. And then I zip together the users and the passwords into a map called user passwords. And finally, we create the SQL users using the user passwords collection that we created in the locals group and applying them to the cluster. We'll output the routing ID of the cluster, not essential, but it might be interesting to see, and then the passwords, which are sensitive, so we won't show them by default. Before we run it, we'll have to source the environment variables. And now we're ready to run. This is the plan that Terraform will run. It creates the CockroachDB cluster in GCP in Europe West 1, the users Alice and Bob, along with their passwords. And we can see around six seconds later, if we refresh the cluster group, the Rob CRD Terraform cluster has been created in GCP in Europe West 1. Looking at the SQL users, we've got an Alice user and a Bob user, and Terraform has created the random passwords as requested. Let's see what those are. These users will go once I've deleted the cluster. So again, no sneaky business. Heading back to the console now, click on connect and copy the connection string that it's given us. Now over here, I've got a very simple Go application that just selects the database names from the database just to prove that we've got something there. We'll copy that connection string into here and copy Alice's password. And those are our databases. Let's clean everything up now. And hopping back over to the console our cluster is gone. So that's how easy it is to create a cockroach serverless cluster with Terraform.